The NFL Draft starts Thursday. John Sears introduces us to a Grandview player working hard for a shot at his dream. Here's Sullivan, pucks, left, end zone, pass, turn it, touchdown! Touchdown, Vikings! Hey, he's the best receiver in the country, the best! Grandview wide receiver Anthony Turner was born to play football. I started playing ball since I came out the womb, for real, so. Number eight was a big play waiting to happen. Anthony Turner, he's got him. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. Anthony Turner, just what the Vikings needed. Yeah, I just described my game as explosive. At 6'4", 220 pounds, Turner is a matchup nightmare for defenses. He just scares you. Uh, be, because of his size, his speed, his athleticism, and you know, you, you're just not quite sure you can handle him with one guy. Coming out of high school, Turner was D1 talent, but missing credits and academics landed him at Iowa Western JUCO. Yeah, I was like very disappointed like, in myself because coming out of high school, I had 14 offers, a lot of them were D1 offers. So, but then I had got the news that I was uh, I couldn't go to them, and I had to go to Iowa Western. And to avoid sitting out another year after JUCO, Anthony had to go the NAIA route and ended up at Grandview. We were looking for, um, you know, kind of a, a game-changing wide receiver. I compete with like any wide receiver at any level, so because I believe in myself and I know what I can do. That All-American talent and massive production with the Vikings has given Anthony a shot to pursue his ultimate dream of playing in the NFL. I know I got a chip on my shoulder. I know they might look at me as a guy coming from NAIA, um, probably saying that he's having, he haven't played up against like high level guys or something like that. But I know like my talent goes speaks for itself. My game speaks for itself. So I'm just ready to show that. All it takes is, uh, you know, just for one organization, just to be intrigued. Uh, that, that's really what it boils down to. And um, did, did it hurt him coming to the NAIA level? I don't know. It sure. Uh, helped himself get highlighted though. Last month, Turner worked out at Iowa State's Pro Day in front of over 30 NFL scouts. He wasn't out of sorts. He wasn't out of place up there. And, uh, you know, physically, you just look at him and, you know, you just kind of assume he's a really good athlete, and, um, and he is. Really just give me a chance so I can just show people that where you come from, it don't matter. NAIA football players are not on full ride scholarships, so athletes at schools like Grandview have to find ways to make money. For the last 10 months, Anthony has worked a part-time job three to four days a week, and there's a chance he's been to your front doorsteps and you haven't even realized it. It's fun to me because I like being busy, so working at Amazon three days a week and training also, um, it's kind of like you really got to find balance and all that, so really just got to go from training, then go to work, and really just like a busy schedule that I like. Here's a guy that's went through an awful lot to, to give himself just a chance and you know he's, he's done everything he could uh, and if that means working at Amazon sitting in a sitting in a van or whatever those things are and dropping off packages you know just to keep his dream alive uh, more power to him and uh, you, you certainly want to get on board with a guy like that that's that passionate about something. Anthony Turner is one of the best to ever play at Grandview. The Georgia native is hoping his next delivery will be to an NFL franchise. My talent goes speaks for itself. My game speaks for itself. So I'm just ready to show that. John Sears. I sure hope he gets an opportunity because, um, you know, I think he's certainly deserved a chance. WHO 13 Sports. And, yeah, and that was fantastic. He's already got the nickname, the real primetime. <laughs> hey, there you go. Look out, Dion. Yeah. <laughs> Great story.